don't know if the <laughs> Washington D.C. is in the south or in the north. <laughs> That's why it's in the middle. Uh, but how y'all doing? I think I'm in the south part. Actually, I'm in front of the White House. I don't know if you can see. Let me see the crowds of people over there. Uh, they're yeah, they're talking about the war, uh, stopping uh, the you know the Israeli conflict that's going on with Hamas. Uh, but I want to do is stop the conflict with you and the government. See, my people don't realize what power you have over the government uh, because it's so big and you get into it. Nobody knows what they're talking about because you're not in the right place. But when you find the right place, you really have more power in the government than anything else. Like recently, I had a problem with uh, Stripe that, uh, that cut off our, our credit processing. And they just two months, I mean, two weeks, and they said, you're gone. And that has screwed us up so much. We lost so much money. We have no power over them unless they go to, the, you know, and hire a lawyer at tens of thousands of dollars uh, to try to fight what they've been doing. And so you have that option at the government. Everybody does, no matter who the heck you are, whether you're a billionaire or you're living on the streets. You have that power. This is supposedly what democracy is about. Now, it doesn't work all the time, but it costs you no money. And you try. That's what it is. I mean, we have a, a person uh, uh, who, who works, you know, who volunteers to help members uh, get the money that they applied for and they were turned down. So after they were turned down uh, for like rent grants, this wonderful woman, she shows them how to write a letter and got it returned. Well, she doesn't win it 100 times, but 50% of the times she gets money for these people. She's gotten over $100,000, you know. I mean, the, I just think that's incredible. And see, you could do that with anything. The SBA turns you down. Okay, you, they all have procedures on how you can uh, appeal that decision. And another way to appeal after they say no to that is go to your elected official. Because your elected official has an appeal process. They have more uh, power over other, any government agency than anybody else in America. Because they pay their bills, okay? <laughs> See, all these agency has to go to the elected official to get them to vote on their uh, uh, on their budget every year. So that's why they have special phone numbers for them to call and everything. So to get any mo movement on your product, on your service, on your help you're waiting for, on the money you're waiting for, or after they said no and, and you think they're wrong, you call them too. You go through their appeal process, then there's another appeal process through your elected official. See, every fat can in this country knows that. And that's why this, this you know, where I live in downtown Washington, D.C., it's full of millionaires learning how to use the system. And they know if they beat on these doors, they will happen. Well, it doesn't happen all the time, but 50% of the time. Better odds than the initial odds of applying for the money. <laughs> so that's why when you went through all that trouble applying, you should go through uh, the problem of, uh, uh, of getting an appeal uh, to look for that, too. And also, you don't need help writing any of these things. You don't need help writing a grant. You don't need help writing to any government or an agency. There are nonprofit agencies that will help you do that. And they're right there in plain sight that you can find them right now. They, you can find them right now by going to findhelp.org and, and put, in, uh, uh, put in your zip code, then put in applying for applications. And you'll see, actually, where I live, there's like 200 nonprofit organizations that are sitting there help you deal with that government agency is not treating you right. You hear that? You hear that? You think you don't have justice in the democracy? Well, that's maybe too, but also it's maybe and even twice as likely that you get satisfaction. So you don't win 100% of anything you do. <laughs> but you have to give it a chance. And that's that's how things happen. You giving it a chance. And that's what I'm trying to teach America to do. Uh, don't leave it to the rich people to figure all this out because they will. You know, because they'll can spend thousands of dollars, you know, to people like I was one of those people. I started my business. Helping Fortune 500 clients get all this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> they pay me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Now I said, wow, see, I grew up in a town called Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania. I didn't know anything about any of these things. And now I said, why doesn't everybody know? 
and I've been waiting for 50 years for the government to set up something like this to help the average person understand it and, and get the help they need from the programs that are there to solve your problems. We spend billions and billions and billions. We spend an average of, I just recalculated the numbers, of $16,000 that we give out to every adult in this country through programs that have helped people out of financial difficulty. You hear that? $16,000 is to going to the, that's an average. Some are getting more, some are getting less. And I'll tell you, the grant, the rich people are getting a hell of a lot more because <laughs> they figured out the system. See, the, the system is laws. I mean, each agency has to follow laws. And that's what gives you the power, you know, is, are, are the laws. And you could use them if you understand uh, the options available. If the government said no, no doesn't mean no. <laughs> and it's also like there's another wonderful woman who helps people, uh, a volunteer with Let's Go Help, that helps people get money back from the IRS. <laughs> and not to pay your taxes because she did it. I mean, without an attorney, without anybody, she got forty thousand dollars eliminated from her tax bill. She only owed fifty, so she only had to pay ten thousand dollars, so fifty thousand dollars. Now that's a lifesaver. That's a game changer. That's a, an incredible opportunity for everybody out there. <laughs> and there's no magic, you know. Uh, you help us or not, you can find that other ways. Uh, uh, tax help is called the offer in kind. And that's not only with uh, IRS, that's the same with state taxes, or even state real estate taxes, any kind of tax. You know, there are options, and especially now from COVID. Uh, government offices are now uh, much more lenient on, on, you know, beating on people to do that. So they'll make a deal. And, and you show hardship, that's what it's for. You know, and every program has something like that, but they're not advertised. People think, you know, what they read on the Internet is true. Haven't we all learned that yet? <laughs> That's not really true. All that crap on the Internet. That's why I try to get some people, don't go to the Internet. Don't go to Google. When you're good, Internet stuff is good. Google is good, but it's not for solving financial problems because all you're going to do is wind up spending more money to get out of the financial problem you currently have. So it's going to get you further in debt because they're either going to rip you off or get you something that you could have gotten for free or it's not going to work. So that's why you try the free one first. And that's why you go to <coughs> findhelp.org, findhelp.org, and find organizations that won't charge you for anything, organizations that give you money when you're in debt, not pay, charge you 500% interest to get, when they give you money. <laughs> you know, that's payday loan people. And they're getting away with that because they know how to use the system and they get people on Capitol Hill to say that this is okay. Well, it's okay. Didn't Christ throw people like that out of the temple? And don't we have the balls to do that? I guess not. <laughs> money talks. <laughs> that's too bad. But there's ways around it and what to do about it. And you don't have to be helpless. You don't have to just, you know, Accept what somebody says that really screws you over or won't get you out of the trouble you're in. There are other people that will, you know, and you have to take it upon yourself to find them. They're not going to come to you. People who give money away don't come to you. I give money away and I'm coming to you. But I, I'm really coming to you for subscribe. So your $20 membership, really half of that money is now going uh, to people who really need the money. That's the members. So the average member is paying half of that <laughs> because we're doing all the money back. Uh, and we give over $75,000 back every month. And uh, it's just a pleasure to do that. It, it does my heart. Uh, you hear that? Thank you all so much. She's fired yeah. now. See, that's uh, the, the uh, entertainment you get. See, that's freedom of speech. And the government is your government. It's not the rich people's government. The rich people are take, trying to take it over. <laughs> and sometimes they win. And sometimes the little guy wins. So you've got to know it. Uh, to use it. Uh, or else it, you'll feel like it's using you. Because you're not using it. This is something in our society that we won't get rid of. Because we need something as a community to run things, right? So we decided the government. And we decided it's a democracy. Sort of. 
<laughs> yeah. But use what it is, you know, good or bad here and there. I mean, uh, there's very few other countries that are doing it better. Uh, and maybe it's certain aspects of it, but it's here. It's a system to learn and use and use as a tool in our society to get through. It represents a third of everything in our country is government. You hear that? A third of everything in our country is government. So learn how to use it. The rich folks do. And you know, there's just as much money going to people over $100,000 a year than there is under $30,000 a year. So it doesn't all go to poor people. You know, these you know, cash giveaways that the government has is for all income categories, is for all um, age categories, it's for all and you know, background uh, education categories, but they're separate ones for everybody. So that's why if you go to one program and they say, oh, you don't believe, well, that's okay. You know, there's thousands of others that you will be. <laughs> you don't give up. If you give up, it's like looking for a job and somebody says, we're not hiring today. You don't go home and say, oh, there's no jobs out there. No, there's no jobs where you look. And that's why there's no <laughs> grants where you look. You have to expand your mind about where these things are. And it's tough. You know, I understand that. It took me 50 years, and that's why we try to get it to a, down to a bite size uh, for where you live. Like, each member gets a free report of 500 mini-grant uh, programs in your state. These are just programs for you in your state. All 500 of them, mini-grant programs in your state for any area of, of interest that you have. You want to get rid of your debt. Buy a house, start a business, health care, fix up a house. All these, by, they're categorized for you to start right there, zero in on it. And then what you have to do is start calling. The real people who get stuff are the ones who get on the phone and talk to people. Because if they can't apply for that grant, these people are the best people to ask to tell you where else you were likely to get that money. And that's what we do. And the same thing with our members and us and all the staff. We're available all the time. We even have two or three hours every day where there's, uh, uh, we're live, either uh, a, a, a member who already got money or one of us and staff that are live, available for you to ask questions. And that's on a Zoom meeting or uh, other ways that we're live. And you can see us there. Okay. So let us know if we can help you. I'd love to help you. I only have about 10 more years to help as many people as I possibly can. I'm only interested in that in life now because I know that grows my heart. If I give more, I feel better. My heart grows. And I got not much left to grow. My eyesight's not getting good. My earsight's getting worse. Ear, uh, listening is getting worse. Can't run as fast. Can't lift as many muscle weights and stuff like that. But I can love harder. And that's what I want to do. So you're doing me the biggest favor in the world by helping me to love you. Isn't that strange? I thought I'd never say stuff like that. Thank you.